The story of One Punch Man, the strongest man in the world. But he wasn't always like this. At 22 years old, he was unemployed and looking for work when he ran into a crab monster. And this crab monster said that he was looking for a certain specific kid. The crab monster let the unemployed man go. And on the way home, the unemployed man saw the kid who the crab monster was targeting. The unemployed man saved the kid from the crab monster, realizing that he always wanted to be a hero who could defeat villains in one punch. And that's the story of One Punch Man, the strongest man in the world who defeats every enemy he faces in one punch. So what is the real secret to Saitama being the strongest man in the world? And what if I told you this power existed in real life? Do you know the definition of power? Is it money? Strength? Status? These are mere byproducts of power. Real power is the ability to change circumstances or others. This is the secret to Saitama's power. He trained for three years to become the strongest man in the world. And long before he started training, he had always dreamed of being the kind of hero who could take out villains in one punch. The reason why he became the strongest man in the world is because he set out to. But that still doesn't answer to how he did it. So the question should be, how do you incorporate these changes into your life? The secret to how Saitama became the strongest man in the world is because he had a drive that most normal humans don't have. He had extreme discipline. It wasn't the fact that he did 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, and a 10 kilometer run. It's because he was doing it every day. He did it with consistency. He even stated that he wouldn't use the AC or heat in the summer and winter. This is important because your growth as a man is dependent on how well you can endure pain and stress to continue to move forward. I'm no scientist, but it's obvious that weightlifting is a very pure example of this. And I believe your success as a man is largely dependent on how well you can delay gratification. You see, much of modern life is designed for comfort and instant gratification. Porn, junk food, TikTok, video games, and yes, even anime. 90% of guys are being outdone by Moomin Rider. Even though he has no superpowers or no fighting ability, he still continues to struggle and fight on. How can we level up this discipline? We can slowly start to add delaying gratification activities in our life. If you watch porn every day, try to do it every other day. This is the reason why I promote the idea of quitting porn, slowing down on junk food, and excessive internet use, and achieving an aesthetic physique that you're proud of. Because the men that are able to show the highest level of discipline a man can achieve, which is what is required to become wildly successful at anything. It makes it so much easier. Another thing that helps with discipline is to change your view on how you view this world. I view life as a video game, even an anime with me as the character leveling up and becoming more powerful. Because I think it's very motivating and fun once you can view life that way because you can pretty much apply this constant progression to a lot of things in life when it comes to money, mental health, physical health, women, status. You can apply it to nearly everything. And so that's something that's really helped me level up my discipline. The more that you can delay gratification, the better. One year ago, I was living at my mom's apartment. I would stay inside pretty much the whole day and I would go to the gym and I was working on a YouTube, but my physique, my mental health, even the things that I would do outside of productivity, it's nowhere near to the level it is now. And this is because I leveled up my discipline. In June of 2021, I moved to the country. I had terrible Wi-Fi access, so straight away, my whole lifestyle of spending all my time on the internet was pretty much driven away. The ping where I live out now is between like 1,000 to 5,000. So you pretty much can't do any sort of online gaming. You can just give it up at this point. I had to endure pain and stress because that was something I wasn't used to. It was a very big change. You could say that my lifestyle got worse moving down here. But what this allowed me to do, I was able to get on under 15% of body fat for the first time, I obtained a thousand subscribers on my other YouTube channel. 
I was having a lot of fun going outside and riding ATVs, spending time with family. I was leveling up my social skills, reading books, meditating, journaling. And this is the exact reason why I say the less comfort you have as a man, the better you're going to be pushed to improve, the more you're going to be motivated to improve. Everything I needed to achieve what I have now was more available, more accessible to me when I was at my mom's place. I had a whole apartment gym there. My mom was getting all my food and it was really high quality meats and stuff like that. I had all the time in the world to just be working on music and my other YouTube channel. I had a whole room to myself with one gigabit internet speed. I had more than everything I need now. But when I moved down here, I was able to achieve more. And that is exactly what discipline is about. Sacrificing and enduring pain to improve. We all have our own definition of success. Saitama's definition of success was becoming one punch man. And this discipline is what made it possible for him to achieve this success. Of course, the choice is yours. But to those who try, I'll say, believe in me who believes in you. Nori, signing out.